Our next experiment we have set up here is with a dehumidifier blowing directly onto the pot of water. Same half a liter on there. Our initial conditions going in are approximately 73 degrees, 48 percent, with a GPP of about 57, and then we'll get the output reading here in just a moment. We'll see how long that this takes. Here are the readings coming out of it. I don't know if you can see this, but it was about 85, 29 with about 42 GPP. It's gone up here as I grabbed it out of the containment. But I'm gonna put it back there so we can keep an eye on that as well. And you can see we just got our time going. So two minutes, 43 seconds, and we'll let it go. We'll keep an eye on this and give you an update. We're back out to check the dehumidifier, and it's right at about an hour. The dehumidifier is working great. It's producing about 38 GPP, and it's about 89 degrees. You can see the water level in the pot there, and we're going to continue on. We're at 2 hours 21 minutes, and the drying chamber is still going. We've got over 300 CFM coming through the unit here, through the bag, and you can see the water level still. Still in the 40s on the GPP. Uh, it's changed a little bit in the warehouse, so our GPP has gone up just a little bit. Also means we're probably evaporating a little. So we'll keep going and keep track of what's going on here. Here we are at four hours, five minutes, and you can see the level of the water again. Everything's going fine. We're gonna continue and we'll check it again. Okay, we're back. It's nine hours, 21 minutes and still going. We've got uh, grains in the low 40s, so that's doing well. And you can see with the pot here how it's doing. We've still got a little bit of water left in there, so we're going to keep on going. Since the stopwatch wouldn't go high enough, it, I'll tell you it's 21 hours 30 minutes on the next day. And we're continuing on. I'll show you the, the level of the water, get a little closer so you can see where that is. Right now we are right at 24 hours with the DU here working and we'll continue on and keep giving you updates. So after 24 hours I went ahead and checked the quantity and it's 300 milliliters. Of course we started with 500 so it's about 40 percent done evaporating at this point. We're now at about 30 hours. I just measured the water in the pot and we're at 275 milliliters, so we're almost halfway done drying. Okay, we're back. It's been about 44 hours. There's 100 milliliters left, so we're about 80% done. Okay, I think this will be the last shot. You can see we still have some water left. It's been about 48 hours. Uh, I did calculations on this. If it's evaporated at the same rate, it would take about another nine hours. So we'd be at a total of 57 hours to evaporate all the water out. And we'll go ahead and stop here. Thanks for watching.